And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Carson Vicroy. Quick update on those visibilities. We continue to track at least some patchy fog, perhaps even a little bit of drizzle still out in the area, uh, given with what we're seeing right now or low clouds. Henderson, Longview, Jefferson, Jacksonville, all reporting some reduced visibility. So just please be careful if you are driving again. I know I sound like a broken record, but I do need to remind you that it can be pretty treacherous when those roads are slightly dampened and also when we have that fog in the area. Temperatures are in the 30s for our northwestern counties. That's from Tyler up to Sulphur Springs, 40s to the southeast of that. And then starting in Nacogdoches, we are in the 60s. So today I do expect most of us to remain in the 40s. Now, if you live to the northwest of Tyler and Longview, you're probably staying in the 30s. And then if you live in deep east Texas, you're in the 60s. But if you live from, say, Mount Enterprise to Nacogdoches, you're probably going to be in the 50s. Tonight, we're down to about 40 degrees with about a 20% chance of some patchy frizzle. Now, let's go ahead and talk about long range future cast. I started this on Friday, and the reason I'm showing you this is our temperatures will be right at or below freezing starting Saturday. And that means any moisture that does fall will be frozen. So this is potentially the first round. Now, Futurecast, the global forecast model, has this round of uh, snow and freezing rain staying off to our northeast and to our east. However, you move a little further into the future, we've got additional rounds on the way in the cold air is still there on Sunday. This is nine o'clock. We're watching out to our west for an area of snow to move into the panhandle and then central North Texas. This is noontime on Monday. Notice half of us are either seeing freezing rain and sleet and the other half seeing that snow that will move through the area as we go into Monday. Again, six days out, things will change with this forecast and obviously we will need to amend this as we get a little closer. So here's what I know about the Arctic air. The coldest of the year, or at least that initial push of the cold air, will arrive on Thursday. Rain chances possible tomorrow night into Thursday. It's going to be our best chance of rain, and it could amount out to uh, quite a bit, depending if you see those heavier cells of showers. And then a wintry mix, at least a slight chance of it, is possible starting on Friday. And that goes for Saturday, Sunday, and especially Monday. You need to be weather aware next Monday. So tomorrow night into Thursday, that's our best chance of rain. And then as we take you through the remainder of your seven day, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, temperatures are in the 30s. We are tracking those lows in the teens. We could have single digit wind chills in deep east Texas. We follow the same trend there again, watching for the potential of that mixed precipitation starting as early on as Friday. Cynthia. Thanks, Carson, with that cold weather.